Cecia is a one man, or should I say woman, wrecking crew. She is pretty much the only early game damage dealer you really need on your account. And honestly, the best part is everybody gets a single copy of her completely free in their first 10 pull. Today, we're going to be talking about why she is so good, how to build her, and the best scenarios to make her progress. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this one. Let's jump into it and talk about Cecia. Now, not only is this hero really, really awesome to look like, and you can see Carlisle in the background there too, uh, she's part of the reason why Grave Barn are so strong in AFK Journey compared to kind of how they were in AFK Arena. They went from probably one of the weaker of the factions, more niche, to probably overall one of the best, and largely it is due to this hero. As you saw, Carlisle was uh, kind of standing right behind her, very unique ability. Uh, the fact that she can summon a pretty much tank slash AoE unit is super, super unique. Beyond that, her Earth's offering gains power of the Earth and increase her and Mr. Carla's attack speed by 45. That ends up being really, really strong. Further on, Agonizing Puncture, uh, passive skill, Ceci and Mr. Carla gain defense penetration, which lets them do more damage, which is really, really awesome. Getting her hero's focus kind of unlocked is good too, because again, she'll attack even faster. And then lastly, oh, this is the good one right here. Trial of Thorns. Now, most people are probably going to take her only to Mythic Plus. That's pretty much where you need to get her. However, I decided to go for Supreme. Uh, I wanted to kind of take her a little further, but when you do hit Mythic Plus, this is when you get her exclusive, essentially, Unlock trial of thorns Ceci entangles an enemy with reinforced thorns so she does that like with her basic attack basically dealing damage every second and the target cannot move or act for four seconds so not only does the summoning on the alt cc everybody in a circle this is additional cc that happens throughout the fight she absorbs 1.5 percent of the physical defense and magic defense from the target every second the absorb stats last until the battle ends and also shared with mr carlisle that's why she can get tankier and tankier as the battle goes on says he can only absorb up to eight times on a target this skill prioritizes enemies who have not reached the limit and have not gotten control immunity so it's a smart ability as well of course you take it higher it basically just does like more damage per second just getting it unlocked is the important part that's why i've kept her pretty much at plus five and not taking it much further but yeah this hero is pretty much a one woman army she just does everything you possibly want as a damage dealer which is why most of the time when i'm building my team i typically have two support heroes two tank heroes or three support heroes, one tank all around her. And she's the only damage dealer I have. Now we might be a little stuck here in the campaign, but I'm going to show you guys a couple of the strategies I typically use. This one is annoying because there is a Vala. However, typically what I'm going to be running is like a multiple tank setup here. And in reality, I want Entendra to absorb that Vala mark right there. So our whole strategy is essentially going to be getting, uh, are Rowan to be forcing energy into Cessia. Our whole goal here is Smokey and Rowan to keep the Thorn alive long enough to just distract the enemy. Cessia comes in and gets it finished up. Uh, and Tondra is more or less bonus backup in case our Thorn does go down. Uh, I kind of like running two tanks in some setups here. And as you guys can see, Rowan comes in, feeds the energy, lets Smokey get his ultimate off. And then now we have Cessia getting hers off, rooting everybody and then doing massive amounts of damage. And you can see just by manipulating and changing where you place her on the battlefield, things change a lot. You never want to put her across from a Vala or someone who's going to stop her from gaining energy because this whole strategy res revolves around getting Mr. Carlisle out out on the battlefield so sometimes you might not just be able to hit the auto battle you might need to change where your heroes are manipulate the battle a little bit but yeah i like running a two tank two support and cessia combo because it just works so so well for me uh now a tundra is not necessary that you can kind of use any other tank you can use like a brutus or something if you have him because he's got that immune shield and literally you're just holding the front line so that cessia can just destroy the entire enemy's back line 
that is the whole goal because you notice if you're just doing the auto battler she's always going to be sending that to the back line the only time she sends it to things closer to her is if for some reason there's no like tank or heroes in front of her that are going to protect her so it is smart where it does place uh carlisle mr carlisle but yeah so Rowan right there, get the potion and energy feed. Next comes in Smokey, and then Entendra and Cecia use theirs. And yeah, you see uh, Mr. Kyle all that time hit everybody, but then went for the tanks too. But again, it doesn't really matter. The whole point is just let, as long as we can get our Thorn to live long enough on the front line to take the hits, our black line is going to wipe them out, even with just a single damage dealer setup. That's why I love this hero Cecia so, so much. She is so strong. Now, typically when we're talking about going for this hero, of course you're guaranteed her at the beginning. And typically, uh, my personal opinion is I like leaving her on the wish banner for quite a while. I want to get her as maxed out as possible. After you get her to the point we're at though, uh, if you wanna go for Igor, you can. I mean, Thorn is the one big old pick. Uh, I'm not a big fan of Igor as someone who uses him. I'm a fan of Igor as an enemy because he's ridiculously hard to kill. Uh, but I'm going straight to Supreme Plus for her just because of how much I do use her and love her. The one thing to note is she is in the arena store. And typically you don't want to go and summon for heroes uh, on your wish list like Rowan, like Cecia, and like Brutus unless you've already got other heroes maxed out. Like I said, in my opinion... Igor is the only other one to put on that banner. Uh, I'm not really caring about going for Igor. I mean, I can summon for him. I can get him for tokens from here. doesn't really matter. But that's the best part about Sessie is she's very, very easy to get from Arena. Probably a copy every week or so. Now, the only thing we didn't talk about is the Enhanced Force. Because, well, you need to be Supreme Plus, And I'm, I think, what? Yeah, I'm still two full copies away on here. It says, the required normal of tax to trigger agonizing puncture is reduced to one. So that one is uh, this guy right here. The passive skill, Cessia's normal attack is enhanced after she uses three normal attacks. So that, that's the enhanced attack. This basically makes it so that uh, it's reduced to one. Not too bad considering how strong this can get for her kind of just passive basic damage. Uh, but again, you don't really need to go to Supreme Plus. Some heroes it's really good, whereas Cessia, it's just okay. So let me know what you guys think about Cessia. I absolutely love this hero. Probably one of my favorite heroes in the game. And between her and Thorin, uh, my Graveborn from AFK Arena went from like my least favorite faction to an AFK Journey. Literally one of my favorite factions. It's crazy. In AFK Arena, I love Light Bearers. They were like the best of the best. And I hated Graveborn. Here it's like I love Graveborn and like Graveborn and like Light Bearers are like, yeah, they're all right. They're, they're okay. They still got Rowan and stuff. Uh, they got the really good A-level heroes besides that. Demesia, nah, I'm not a fan of all that. Lucius, he's all right. You know what I'm talking about. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Hopefully uh, we can talk a little bit more about her in the future. And I'll see you guys next time.